Welcome to UI 101. Let's talk about using XRs to create Keyshot 360s in the updated web viewer. If you watched our last video on the web viewer, you'll be familiar with the latest updates to the overall UI and features. One of those features we introduced was Keyshot 360. To create a Keyshot 360, the first thing you'll need to do is output an XR file from Keyshot. Get started by opening the XR wizard at the bottom toolbar. If you've already built out a complete animation you'd like to output as an XR, you can select the animation option at the bottom of the list. On my screen, you can see it's currently grayed out because I don't have an animation already present on my timeline. If you do not have an already built animation, you can choose from any of the other options on the list. I'm going to select Tumble and hit Next, which will open the following set of options, allowing for the rotation center to be chosen. I'll select my preference and again hit Next. I'll continue through the settings to adjust any camera parameters until I reach the last set of options to select my output settings before rendering the XR. You can either render directly from this window or click render options to open the render window if you'd prefer rendering from there. Once you have an XR rendered out, you're ready to attach it to your web viewer upload. Open the web viewer upload window and make sure your desired parameters are set. Then go down to the Keyshot 360 section and this is where your dot 360 file will go. To find the dot 360 file in question, you'll need to locate where your output animations are being saved to, open the XR file, locate the file folder that has the individual XR images, and then grab the dot 360 file at the bottom of the folder. You can either drag your dot 360 file into the area provided or locate it using the browse files option. Once attached, you're ready to publish your scene to Keyshot Drive and view it in the web viewer. With the link selected and the web viewer open, you can navigate to the 360 tab along the left. After loading, you'll be able to interact with the 360 animation the same way you would any other XR output. So next time you're looking for a powerful way to supplement your web viewer uploads, or you're looking for more ways to communicate concepts to design partners, both internally and externally, consider giving Keyshot 360s a try. And as always, stay tuned, happy rendering, and we'll see you in the next one.